Here are the two fox squirrels that I'm going to be releasing. They were born on the grounds of the Dallas Zoo, and their names are Buddy and Ellie Bell. Buddy's the male, and Ellie Bell's the female. In this video, they are inside the cage they've been in since they were babies. It is too small for them, and they are ready to be free. I have kept them over the winter because of the high juvenile mortality rate during the winter. They are about six months old now. Even if I were to give them a much larger enclosure in inside where they would be safe from predators during a long life in captivity, it is better for them to be free. For most people, as well as squirrels, freedom is more important than security, even though it would tear me apart if they get run over or eaten by a predator. Here they are in that same cage outdoors where I set it yesterday until I released this morning. As you can see, they are temporary neighbors of two Flemish giant rabbits. Here I am about to feed these squirrels I'm going to release. Putting some nuts here. And I'm leaving the door open. This one is Buddy. It's his name. Up here we have his sister Ellie Bell. I don't feed on just nuts. I also give them berries and seeds, which they'll probably eat later. So I'll just leave this door open and then they'll crawl out whenever they're feel like it's ready to, they're ready to go. The thumping you hear is just the rabbits jumping around. That's Ellie Bell. Buddy. Buddy spelled with two E's. They're sharing, sort of. I wonder if they'll realize that the doors are open for them. Or when they will realize.
probably wait for me to be gone. He's getting out now, buddy. Nope, he wants to stay in. Now that door is actually open, it just won't open open. It, it for some reason, just won't stay swung open. Yeah, it, it is open though. See if he'll try to. He hasn't decided yet. So I, you know, I think he wants to stay here. I think he see, still sees this cage as home. And his sister probably even more so. Oh, 
He's coming out. All right. Let's see where he goes. Of course, he has to go to the other side of the cage. You're letting me go? That's what he's saying. No, I don't want to leave you. Hey, you can stay in the backyard. I'll still see you. Would you believe that? He went back in. Yep, he did. Went back in. Oh, he's making those sounds. He's... He's mad because he... Uh, he wants to live in the cage and he doesn't want to release him. This is Ellie Bell, who I managed to coax out of the cage. Sally Bell. Oh, she's looking happy out there now. She's making sounds. She's excited. That's probably not going to be her permanent home, but she's... She probably doesn't want to be bothered at this moment, because she's making this sound. Well, I think she just found a good place to hide from predators in those vines and that fence. Um, 
Okay, so she'll stay, probably stay in here and hopefully her natural instincts will kick back in and, you know, she'll know how to be a squirrel. And, you know, but, you know, there's always going to be food out here. Um, so, whenever she wants to come back. I'm going to say this is a pretty good hiding place. Whoops. I'm going to say this is a pretty good hiding place for her. I, I can't even... I mean, I see her, but you know, the camera's not getting her. Right here. Hurry, body. Right there. There we go. Well, Buddy's still in the uh, cage. He's... He doesn't want to come out. And she doesn't want to come out of her hiding place. Sally Bell. After this was recorded, um, I had come back later and um, she was still there and I gave her, gave her a nut. And then I came back uh, after that and she, she was gone.